I got inspired by some of Jimmy DeResta and Bob Claggett's videos to try my hand at a pallet wood project. So I started with ripping a pallet down, and I used the circular saw method since I didn't have a sawzall with a full demo blade, and I wanted as few nails as possible to have to deal with later. So I used the circular saw to cut the slats off and then knocked them out and then pulled the nails out of the remaining slats. And I basically just ignored the stretchers uh, since they were so full of nails. And nails would prove to be a problem, but more on that later. Once I had the slats off, I used the miter saw to just cut the rough ends off of each slat and clean them up. And this took a little while, but it went pretty well. Once I had all of the rough ends off of each slat, I ran them through the planer. And this is the part where the nails really came in to play. I tried to be as careful as I could, but I didn't have a metal detecting wand. And so as careful as I tried to be, unfortunately I did run one board with a nail through the planer and ding the knives, so that was a real pain. And obviously the planer makes a ton of shavings and chips as it goes through. Once I had the boards planed down, I ran them all through the table saw to clean up one edge, and then I flipped each piece over and ran it through again. So you can see the resulting pieces of wood that I got from that process. At this point I was thinking about making a table, but then I changed my mind and decided on making a tool tray. So I cut some pieces down and glued them up into a single panel. And you can see me doing the glue up here at the kitchen table. My shop is outside, and in Michigan at this time of year it gets pretty cold, so I really have been trying to do my glue ups inside. So our kitchen table with some wax paper works pretty well for that process. Once this panel had a chance to dry, I made some sides and cut those down to size, and I made some ends and for the first time I was able to use my table saw sled to cut a lap joint. And so this took a little trial and error. And uh, one thing that really helped was making a couple of stop blocks. So you can see me using the table saw crosscut sled to basically zip away at that piece in order to make the lap joint. I did the same thing for the ends so the lap joints would have a place to sit in. And you can see that joint being cut here on the table saw. And this just took a little bit of time. Uh, to get it all nibbled away since I don't have a dado blade on the table saw. But it worked out just fine. And so now you can see me gluing up the whole assembly here. My daughter helped me with filming, nailing in a few little uh, finish nails at the end here, so that footage is a little shaky. And then it was just a matter of getting the ends glued on and the handle placed in there. And once that had dried, I tapped some finish nails in to really hold those ends in well, and then I went ahead and used the router to clean some things up. I used a flush trim bit to trim a few of the edge bits off, and then switched to a roundover bit to make a nice smooth edge all the way around the tool tray. And you'll see when I flip this around, one thing that I didn't account for was that one of those finish nails was a little close, so the router exposed it and I had to pull that back out. But rounding over everything worked really nicely, and then basically it was finished. I did a little sanding and cleaned things up, and I was able to fill it with tools. So this is the new tool tray from one pallet into a tool tray that I can now use in the Steam Lab where I teach. Thanks for watching.